You know, in boxing, things change so quick. Relationships between people come and go and they change so quick, right? It seems like only yesterday, Joe Joyce turned pro, promoted by Haymaker. Everywhere him and David Hay went, you know, everywhere David Hay went, it was always with Joe Joyce. That's seeming, that's, that's gonzo now. Before I start, what do you all think? Hashtag G-Man's rocks. You got to get the ripped jeans in there. It's only the one for now, but um, who knows? Maybe there'll be more. But yeah, hashtag G-Man's rocks. And you got to go with the ripped jeans. I got another one actually coming as well. Hopefully at the end of the week. I, that one is a little bit nicer. I think it has a, it has more on it and it doesn't well, it doesn't have ripped jeans on it. But it does have king of ripped jeans on it. So I just thought I'd show you guys that before I get into this video properly. But yeah, David Hay and Joe Joyce. They were always together. Like for the whole time that David Hay and Joe Joyce were fight, well, David Hay was still technically fighting. He was fighting before he fought Bellew. But the whole time Joe Joyce turned pro and he was fighting on Dave, it was always him and David Hay. You know, lest we forget when Derek Chisora fought that journeyman. Well, what card was that on? Christ, I can't remember now. But he fought a journeyman on a car on a matchroom card. I can't remember which one it was. It might have been a Calia fight card. I think it might have been in Birmingham. But after that fight, it was just before Bellew. It was just before David Hay fought Tony Bellew in the rematch. And you had David Hay, you know, trying to bargain with Derek Chisora about why you haven't taken, you know, signed the contract. We're offering you good money. This, that, and the other. We want you to fight Joe Joyce. I remember they had that, like, Chisora was able to get the fans on his side and just kind of start booing David Hay. Remember he said that he'll only, he'll fight Joe Joyce if David Hay agrees to, like, sign over his purse to Chisora if he beats Joe Joyce and all that. And he said that if Joe Joyce doesn't knock him out, you know, remember that it was a real, it was actually quite funny. You know, it was. It was actually quite funny. So, fast forward two years, and it's the polar opposite. It's David Hay and Derek Chisora are now the inseparable couple. And Joe Joyce is now promoted by Frank Warren. And David Hay is saying that the next fight he wants for Chisora, can you see where I'm going with this, is Joe Joyce. So, David Hay, the man who was, you know, damn near ridiculing Derek Chisora... For not taking the Joe Joyce fight two years ago. Is now in Chisora's corner. Saying that yeah. Derek Chisora needs to fight Joe Joyce. And he'd probably be you know having a go with Joe Joyce. If Joe Joyce didn't take it. And say maybe I want Usyk or someone like that. It, it really is. Boxing is a strange game, kind of game. You know it really is. I mean like. Yeah and, and these two. Bear in mind these two fought one another. Chisora and Hay. He gassed me. He glassed me. Do you remember all this? And now they're, they're like best friends. They're like best buds. Boxing's a strange, strange game when you think about it sometimes. In terms of Joyce versus Derek Chisora, um, I would definitely favour Joyce at this stage. I think two years ago, when Joe Joyce was, I think, just turned pro, he'd only had like three pro fights at the time. Might have been more interesting. Um, Joe Joyce obviously back with Ishmael Salas now, which I think is the best fit for him. I think... Was Adele who said it that out of all the trainers he's seen Joe Joyce with Ishmael Salas has made him look the best? I'd have to agree. I don't think the Adam Boot style suit with Joe Joyce at all. I think he looked a bit all over. I think I think yeah, that was the worst I'd seen it was when he was with Adam Boot. Alright, no offense to Adam Boot, he's a stand up guy, but I think that was the worst I'd seen Joe Joyce when he was with Adam Boot. Then he who else was he with? He was with a few people. Was he with Shane? No, he wasn't with Shane McGuigan. He was with a few people. He's had a few trainers, but Ishmael Salas for me definitely is brought... Oh, he was with Abel Sanchez. And for me, he was actually punching harder with Abel Sanchez than he was with anyone else. Um, and obviously now he's back with Ishmael Salas. So, yeah, for me, he's looked the best under Salas as well. Um, Joe Joyce, though, is promoted by Frank Warren. Eddie Hearn has Derek Chisora. But, who knows, maybe David Hay being the manager, maybe there's ways he can swing contracts, maybe there's ways he can get things done. If... AJ was to vacate the WBO title now, given the fact that Joe Joyce is now at number two in the ratings for the WBO, they would obviously order Usyk versus Joyce. That goes without saying. If they don't, and AJ decides he'll defend it against Usyk, hmm, maybe if they could get that fight made, it'd be interesting to see. I would heavily, 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 heavily favour Joe Joyce now at this stage. Chisora still has a good bit left. He definitely does. But I think... Chisora, it's, it's ironic, right? Because you look at Chisora three, four years ago and you turn around and you say there's nothing left. 
he, he gets rid of Don Charles, joins up with Dave Caldwell. Obviously not with Dave Caldwell now, but he joins up with Dave Caldwell, brought David Hay in, and we're seeing a Chisora who we really should have seen 10 years ago. It's weird like that because, I mean, like, even back for like 2015, I was like, Chisora's done. You know, but he's still able to get big paydays. He's still able to get, you know, pay-per-view fights, amazingly. Him against Joe Joyce at this stage, though, I don't see it going very well for Chisora. I think that Joyce will, Joyce could jab Chisora to a win. Or if it got physical, like, the way he was able to get physical with Derek, with uh, Alexander Usyk, that ain't, that, whoa, that is, you were going to be hitting the brick wall with Joe Joyce doing that. You were literally going to be hitting the brick wall doing that with Joe Joyce. Uh, and I don't see, uh, I don't know if Joe Joyce would stop Chisora. Chisora's wily, doesn't tend to get stopped very often. You know, only David Hay laid him out, um, Dylan White laid him out, and obviously Fury stopped him. But uh, I'd be... I'd be surprised, I think, if Joe Joyce stops him. I think Joe Joyce might just use the jab and win it on points like that. But um, certainly I wouldn't be picking Derek Chisora at this stage now against Joe Joyce. Be interesting, though. Be interesting to see if they make that fight. Um, I'd watch it, definitely. But um, in terms of... It, it's just weird. It's the fact that, like, you know, you had, two years ago you had the, the prospect of that fight. I think Chisora was offered, like, six figures, low six figures, to fight Joyce. He didn't want it. And, you know, you David Hay coming out being like, you know, why aren't you taking this fight with Joe Joyce? And now you have it the other way around. It's you David Hay in the the Chisora camp. And I'm sure if Joe Joyce said, you know, oh, I don't want to fight Derek Chisora, David Hay would be like, well, why you don't want to fight him then? You know, it's a weird one. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, smash the like button. Subscribe, of course, lads, if you haven't already. We're definitely doing a live stream tonight because it's going to go out in the morning. So we're definitely doing a live stream tonight, but the usual time, you know, half seven, eight o'clock, something like that. Lads, I'll talk to you. Hashtag G-Mans, Rocks, King of Rip Jeans, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you, lads. Peace.